Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. This video we are going to learn about how to create an S3 bucket with the help of Terraform. So uh, we are going to enable uh, versions on the bucket, right? We are going to essentially enable tagging, right? We are going to enable server side encryption on the bucket. We are going to enable lifecycle policy on the bucket so that automatically after particular age, the object gets transitioned into infrequent ac access and then essentially eventually into Glacier if needed. So we're going to do all these things with Terraform. So I'm very excited to teach you this morning about Terraform and how to create S3 bucket. So far, we have been doing stuff through a console that is through a management console, right? We went inside and did stuff. But now we want to write scripts to, uh, uh, we want to write scripts for our infrastructure. So let's get started. Um, I have a folder called Terraform Tutorials and S3. So first of all, I want you to create a new file called main.tf. Uh, as you see, uh, you, uh, IntelliSense or IntelliJ, if you're using like me, you will have a plugin that will help you to essentially uh, write code. So the first thing that I want to do here, and I'll try my best to zoom in as much as I can, because I know a lot of people do watch from mobile phone. Pro provider AWS, which means I'm writing code for Amazon, right? I want to create my resources on Amazon. So re a region, I'll say US East 1, right? And then I'll add my access key, right? I'll add my secret key. I have to delete this immediately after I publish this video. <laughs> then what I want to do, I want to create an S3 bucket, right? So I will say resource. So I'll say AWS S3 bucket, right? And then I'll say create S3 bucket, okay? So, see, so you see how easy it is to, to write code, right? So uh, now we, we want to make a template, right? So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to create a variable. So this is my placeholder, placeholder, sorry, variable and my name is bucket name, right? And we'll say default and we'll provide a value of the bucket. So I'm going 1995 0001. Okay. This is how you create a variable, right? Now over here, I want to say bucket. Okay, and then I'll use the dollar sign symbol and I'll put the placeholder. So you use the word, oops, sorry. Use the word war dot bucket name. Very, very good. Congratulations on that. Now we'll say ACL, which means the bucket has to be private. You can put that as well on the variable, right? If you need. So, uh, but I'll, I'll leave it to private. So what you're doing is essentially, we are, we are sort of creating a template system right here. So life cycle. Now I want to transition my objects, right? So I'll name this or I'll call this an ID, right? And I will call this as archive. <clears throat> and then I'll say enable. Uh, it should be, oh, it's life cycle rules, my bad. Life cycle rules. Now, there you go. Now it auto completes. So now we'll say this to true, okay? Then uh, we'll add a transition block, which means we want to transition the objects. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to transition to infrequent access after a particular time, right? So I'll say transition after 30 days to standard IA, okay? Then I'll add, uh, I'll add transition after 60 days to Glacier, okay? So that's great. So I'm collapsing this, okay? So see how well we have written this? Uh, let's space things ev evenly, right? Now we want to enable the versioning on the bucket. So we'll say versioning. We, uh, and then um, we'll say enabled as true. Okay, very good. Um, now we'll put a tag because this is my QA environment, uh, you know? So we'll put some tags, environment as the QA. Okay, so we'll collapse this evenly spaced, okay? Then um, we'll put a server-side uh, encryption, right? So I'll say server-side encryption rule uh, KMS, right? So that's that. Uh, so I think you're all set uh, in terms of the bucket. This is how easy you can uh, create an S3 bucket, lifecycle policy, uh, you know, everything is there. Now, one thing that I want to do is I also want to enable a matrix. Matrix means, uh, you know, how many objects are there in the bucket over the time. I want to see all that stuff. So I'll say resource AWS S3 underscore bucket matrix is as easy as that and all i'll do here i'll replace this and here i don't want a hard code so i'll use the the i'll use the dollar sign symbol var dot bucket name okay and i want to do on the entire bucket so my 
code is ready okay now i will go inside uh, uh, where did my i i always have a hard time seeing stuff so now i'm back on my terminal okay so now you want to say terraform in it so this will initialize your terraform script okay very easy nothing crazy um so let's wait for this to complete uh, i'm using uh, hashicorp version 4.11.0 okay so if you are on the older version you might get some errors so that's done now it's very easy terra form apply okay so i'm applying my changes now and this will essentially create the bucket before that i show you right i don't have any bucket with that 001 name okay so as you can see here so now it's asking me whether you want to apply changes so it's saying that hey i'm going to create uh, the s3 bucket so all this is 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 telling us that hey this is my plan so that's good i'm just simply going to say yes to terraform and there you go my bucket has been created as you can see 001 right we can go to the properties but uh, versioning is enabled right we have a tag here uh, server side encryption is also enabled as you can see very nice that, that we want that right then we have enabled um, matrix as well the bucket is private right the matrix you will see the matrix here uh, we have a life cycle policy here as you can see uh, so automatically you know this will uh, after uh 30 days go to ia and then 60 days to glacier so we have all of that right now how to delete that terra form plan destroy sorry hyphen destroy and then uh, i think a dash out is equal to my plan test dot plan i'll say enter and now it will create a destruction plan for me which means it'll say hey i'm about to delete these this this the stuff so let's wait for it to create the plan all right then i'm going to say terraform as you can see it gave me a command here uh, let me take my video here so this visible so as you can see now it, it gave me a plan i'm going to say terraform apply dest dot plan whatever that yeah, name is and now um, after that has been executed my bucket should be gone away as you can see heading over to my s3 bucket refreshing i don't have that bucket anymore thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this quick tutorial on terraform and s3 bucket we'll try to do more and more with glue jobs and much much more thank you so much for watching see you guys in the upcoming next video